The Perfectly Imperfect Pumpkin Written and illustrated by Rachel Cook For all the children who read this book, may you find the courage to always be yourself. Have you ever felt different or like you didn't quite fit in? Did you ever wish to look different or be good at different things? Did you ever wish you were like someone else instead of being you? I'm here to share a story about a pumpkin who felt that too. This pumpkin learned that being yourself is the best thing you can be. The pumpkin that I'm talking about, yeah, you guessed it, it's me. Just like every other pumpkin, I started as a seed, planted in early summer and given all I need. The farmer laid me in a cozy bed, just beneath the ground. She sprinkled me with water and I slept there safe and sound. The sun warmed up the soil and I began to grow, just like all the other pumpkins that were planted row upon row upon row. Great big orange flowers bloomed for all the buzzy bees and winding, twisty, tangled vines with big green fuzzy leaves. Soon little fruits appeared where the flowers once lay. The farmer came to keep us warm on a special bed of hay. Everything was wonderful and little did I know, I wasn't growing the same as my friends, I was growing rather slow. Summer was over. Leaves turned red and gold, the nights grew shorter, and the wind turned cold. Pumpkins grew ripe and round in the September sun. Every pumpkin's favourite time of year, autumn had begun. Soon it would be October, and October, don't you know, is the best time of the year for it's when the pumpkins go. They go to fulfil their destiny and follow the pumpkin dream when someone picks them from the patch, especially for Halloween. You see, there are lots of things that pumpkins can do. Some of them are carved so a light can shine through. Some of them are made into a delicious pumpkin pie. Some of them are so enormous they can win a prize. Some are used to decorate in windows and indoor. Some of them are made into boats and sailed along the shores. Some of them are decorated with eyes and vampire teeth. Some are surrounded by flowers and nestled in a wreath. October came and the pumpkins had grown. They had ripened and changed colour and were ready for new homes. All the beautiful pumpkins turned orange as they grew. But I wasn't orange. I was green and blue. I had knobbly skin all covered in warts and bumps. I looked around. The others were smooth, with no lumps. My stalk on the top was all twisted so tight. It wasn't straight like the others that stood upright. The pumpkin patch was open, and in their hordes they came parents, grandparents, children, and every day the same they would come to find the perfect pumpkin, the one they would take home. But I was never chosen and waited in the sun alone. I could hear them laughing, and sometimes they were mean. They'd never seen a pumpkin so bumpy and so green. I was so embarrassed that I didn't look the same, so I would try and hide it and hang my head in shame. When all the pumpkins slept under the dark night sky, I heard a sound from up above. I saw a witch fly by. I knew what she'd be thinking. She'd probably never seen such an ugly, warty pumpkin that was knobbly, blue and green. Then the moon lit up her face and I could see her grin. And I noticed she too had warts just upon her chin. Yippee! She screeched as she held me up high. She danced around in circles, and I felt like I could fly. She said, You're the most amazing pumpkin that I've ever seen, the perfect size and shape and beautiful colours of blue and green. I couldn't quite believe it. I'd finally been picked. 
All the other pumpkins thought they had been tricked when they woke to all the laughter. As we flew off on the broom, I waved goodbye and they all cheered as we whizzed past the moon. The witch said, I used to be like you. I wasn't like the others. I was different too. Then one day the mirror helped me see. I am unique. I am special. And most of all, I'm me. I've been searching everywhere for a pumpkin just like you. For years and years to every pumpkin patch I flew. Your stalk is so wonderfully curly because it isn't tall and straight. Your skin is so different and that's what makes you great. But it's not just what's on the outside or the look upon your face. It's everything about you that makes the world a better place. Halloween came and it was my favorite day. Everyone came to see me and I heard them say, what an amazing pumpkin, the best I've ever seen. How did you find a pumpkin so bumpy and so green? The witch smiled and agreed. Oh, isn't he just fine? I'm so glad I found him, and now he is mine. E as the night came to an end, we all settled for bed. I had so many happy thoughts dancing in my head. Just as I closed my eyes, I heard the witch call. I love everything about you, what's and all. Now I feel different. The witch has helped me see that being different is a good thing because I'm being me. The world would be so boring if we were all the same. So be unique and love yourself and never be ashamed. Never think you need to change the way you look or the things you do because that's what makes you special. That's what makes you, you. The end.